Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title, and tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. for this light heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Dalil Rowley Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former USC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Polatov. Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready, one. Ready. All right, so here we are at the O2 Arena in London, England, and for my money, this is as good a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have. Another capacity crowd on hand, as usual, for the UFC's annual stop. The fans of England love sport. They love competition, and they show sure up, and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show with you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if you <laughs> Checks the leg kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. He's got the single collar tie. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. 
Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look at Oh, there it is. Dump City catches the kick and promptly counters with that takedown. Great time, great recognition of seeing the kick coming. Tree's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get... Oh! He's out! Alex Pereira with one of the greatest knockouts you will see! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetier all right, you heard it there from Buff, Alex Pereira, your winner by knockout. Get used to hearing that. That's exactly what he does. We have seen it on multiple occasions. The guy knows how to put your lights out, and we see him do it time and time again.